Sani Wenani Mzanti, standing before you, Sia Dumisa Wagamadi, the proud host of the No Name Sports Archives show. We're back with a bang, with another interesting video. I think it's very informative more than anything. Mara before Sala Endabeni, Astralia Ngobonga, people who have supported us, people who have liked our videos, people who have subscribed to our channel. We thank you so much. We appreciate it. Really means a lot to us. We really, really appreciate it. Yo, where do we start? What's a weekend ahead? Wafa Wafa, MTN 8. It's the yellow weekend. Hence, you can see I'm keeping up to the theme because we're going to end by yellow. Guys, don't get it twisted. I see Kabu yellow, your sundowns. It's yellow, your MTN, just for the record. So, the cup itself, before go by MTN 8, it began in 1972 as the BP Top 8 Cup. If you're an old school soccer fan, you would know. Or if you're cool, you would know. Man, could BP Top 8. But not everyone knows what it's as a BP Top 8. So, after 1972, good Liwe until 1996. Then he has and then took a break, came back in 2000, played Yapuma E BP, was to go by SAA Super 8, played as well. Then in 2008, Yapuma SAA Super 8, go by Wafa Wafa, the one that you know today. I think it was a real game changer. The sponsorship that they put up, I think it even made EPSL revisit the people who win the league. After the MTN8 sponsorship, the league also increased the sponsorship to 10 million. To 10 million. Because of MTN8, if you have a big came with the big bucks to this day. And we all know Wafa Wafa, winner takes all. But, anyways, before Sia Lapo, as I said, it was first called EPP Top 8, played. I think the last final year EPP Top 8 that was played was in 1996. Bego ye pirates ne kwakwa stars, not free state stars, but kwakwa stars. Nkumbula e game ya kona bejalwa e at the free state rugby stadium. Um, before go by for compact, pirates won that game 3 0. Kwakora u helmen yem kelele, Andres Lokales Leker Sibula. Um, all the first goal was called by Uchiris Kosana, yeah, it was 3 0. Pirates lifted the trophy, captain was Gavin Lane. Then it stopped after 1996, came back more the year 2000. How ironic, Pirates won it again. Nasei Buya, after I took a break, coached by Ukevin Hunt, Bilala FNP Stadium, he me a corner. Ukevin Hunt, not Kevin Hunt, my bad, my bad. Oh, Gordon Egerson. I remember Gordon Egerson's daughter was getting married. So Gordon, go figure if lights a stadium, Yam Tata rushed to the wedding after they had won, after Pirates had won. That final, the first goal was called by Upolen Indrania. It was a header. Then he Ix equalized late, late, late in the game. Gukora, Ushon Pramel, who went on to join Kaiser Chiefs, go the same season, but didn't really make it. And then Utabom Gomeni scored the winning goal, go extra time. So by then, there was something called a, a golden gold rule. And there was also a golden silver rule. So how it went was that a golden gold, whoever scores a goal, go extra time wins the game no matter what the time says then there was also a silver gold rule which meant that if you score a goal with the first half the first half of extra time you win the game hope i'm making sense so i remember pirates won the game like that but good time many it was a golden gold rule he scored a penalty and after the penalty it was game over you could see he was tense with as he was about to take the penalty what a final. Those are the memories I remember in APP Top 8. I also remember a final that was played at FNB Stadium. Kaiser Chiefs, Mamelodi Sundowns, Ngo 1994. Chiefs wearing the legendary Kappa t-shirts. You, if you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about. With the long shorts. Sundowns came in, sponsored by Pew Michael Ellerins. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I remember Sundowns had Abu... Bennett Masinga, Phil Masinga, um, Zayn Musa, Zama Sonat, Nangu Zayn, Nangu Zayn. Um, they had Abo Juas Mahulejo, coached by Clement Westerhoff. What a Sundowns team. 
it shows that about Wetsen Yurenda, Wetsen Yurenda has got two goals in the corner. Your Doctor Kumalo's good pick here, boy. Your Jacob Chiseves. Um, who else comes to mind? Tabo Moki as a youngster. I'm not sure if he played good at your game, but it's that season where he made his it was his debut season. No Tabo Tiki Tiki Moki, coached by Philip Kozia, the Frenchman. What a game! Three two. Chiefs ended up winning three two in extra time. Nayo. What a game! Fireworks. Another game here, BB Top Eight final that comes to mind is the 2002. Is it 2002 or 2003? I can't really remember, but I know it was 2002 or three when he Chiefs won it. Nama penalties. Oh, Charles Mukloy actually missed a penalty, and then the sun, the legendary Sundowns captain Oman Bush Mudau was shy Charles Mukloy in a club. Yes, for missing a penalty, Oman Bush a club. That's that's just something that stood, made headlines, back pages. Begu yiyo yiyo. That's very memorable. I remember it very, 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 very well. But shame afterwards. Charles McCloy. I mean, Oman Bush apologized to Charles McCloy. At it was just a heated thing, you know. Cause the is like that. But they were cool again. They played together. Oh, what a player, Charles McCloy. Get that was Kumbuza. Kumbuza. Oh, Kumbula. Oh, the late Obab. He would call him King Charles. At to King Charles from Bloemfontein. What a player, Charles McCloy. Charles McCloy. Afterwards, it moved to be called e SAA Super 8. The reason is SAA. It was sponsored by the South African Airways, hence the name SAA Super 8. Memorable finals. I remember e Jomo Cosmos playing against Moroka Swallows. Um, Muraka Swallows went on, no, my bad. Jomo Cosmos went on to win that game 3 2. I think it was also extra time, really extra time, Nalo. Um, I still have a memory of Andrew Rabutla lifting the trophy, literally. Um, Apete his check, Jomo Sono doing his things. You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know, you know. So it brings back all those memories and young as young as brings back those memories. Um, another classic final that I remember was a e Kaiser Chiefs in a Super Sports United. E, I'm not sure if it was at Kings Park Stadium or the Apsa Park, but one thing I definitely remember, which the final was in um, at Deben. So as I said, I'm not sure if it was Kings Park or Apsa Park. What a game. Super Sports upsetting. The mighty Amakosi. Bang it is the mighty Amakosi. It was a star started team with Chiefs. They had Uskarango Bese, John Shuzim Shweu, Chesin number 91, who could forget? Tabo Muki, um, I was Cyril in Zama, Guma Wings. Yo! Now that was the Chiefs team being coached by U Ted Dumitri. It's that team that went on to win two back to back league titles. What a team, what a team. I think for me personally, Guskati Eng is pretty and the soccer that I've watched. I think that's, if not the best chief team that I have watched, maybe second best or third best Chiefs team. Now that was a team. They had U Collins and Besuma. You know the unstoppable Besuma. I think it was that season when he scored his famous 34 goals. So that team was really, 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 really hot. Konabo, Dr. Kumalo on the bench, Nabo Faru Khan. So you can imagine the brain's trust that was there. What a final it was. Mkumulang founded an article by U Upitom Simane, Gu Kickoff magazine, after they won that SAA final. Ati, the one thing that he got right was that it Chiefs has a tendency, Yogut, and it's obviously wherever they go, we all know they are the most supported team, as we've seen this season, even wherever they go. Gewanaga Luguti, Figi Timenko, let South Africa, you know. So Pito says that Chiefs has a tendency, Yoguti. Might like a cup final or any big game. Nabe Puma a dressing room. Aba like Bayern Mela, ni Pumekala. And then you get in and then the fans cheer you up. And then a few minutes later, then they come out. Then the whole stadium goes. Because <sighs> the chief saying you know. That thing on its own is very intimidating. So Upito says that he told U Ricardo Lokato, Captain Nuguti, boy, you wait. You don't take the pitch until they all come in. And then Vele Gebangena Boy too at the same time. At when that happens, at least the cheering is not for a specific team. Gubangat it's for everyone. And 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 Toli Nyoga, you know, and Bandi and Tugi. So Peter said he got that right. And he gave his players confidence during the week. 
just relax. There's nothing special about the Chiefs. It's 11 versus 11. Kumbula u sponi so pakata amaka umbesuma out of the game. Wherever he went, upakaka was following umbesuma on that day. What a game. Ikichi mi came here. I think it's that game when Oscar Rangobese did a 360 turn. Whilst it came was play. Oh, I miss those days. So it came here Lala. Chief is attacking. Oscar Rangobese started to pull out. 360 degrees. Turning with the ball. Next that he looks up. He makes a forward pass. Ted Dumitra applauds that. He doesn't criticize him. Unlike our coach. But today who don't allow our skillful players to showcase their talent. I really appreciate that. My Ted Dumitra. So that final really sticks to me. Jay, it's it's just one of those great finals I've ever witnessed. History was made. And I remember during the week, Uba Patko Mafane was singing the song, Eti, Besuma, Bemlandela, Besuma, Bemlandela. I'm trying to sing it like him. So yeah, Patko Mafane was singing that song. When Collins and Tofon Tofon Besuma was on fire, you know. Great memories, great memories. Um, ooh, how can I forget this one? E, the Bloomfield and Celtic team that also won the SAA Super 8 with Abo Rotsin Kila, specifically Opal Toles, I used to call Rotsin Kilambe, no Collins Shabalala. I don't know if you remember Rotsin Kilambe, who was from Imamiludi Sundowns, the big, strong player. I think he was Zambian. And then, oh, Paul Toilet, Ababizanga, my two big animals, the two big animals. I think you'll remember. I remember during the week when it build up was happening, Beng Mamele I Isoka Zone, Koda. I think then, I'm, I'm not sure if we host the legendary Tepo Mabona or the legendary Walter Mukwena, but I know it was one of them. So, Mike Mangena, Bob Mike Mangena, used to be very active with SAPC by then, if you all remember. And he said, you don't beat a Chiefs and Pirates and not win the trophy. I don't forget those words. I was a lighty, but I, those words have stood by me. Ati, J, you don't beat a Pirates and Chiefs and still win the trophy. It's impossible. And the Vele Esvar, e, Cos, e, not Cosmos, e, Plumbon and Celtic went on to lift that trophy. What a team they had. Kumbula, Speedy Wingers, Churi Morahe, Moses Pandiel, um, at the back. Um, but James Matitilani. What a team! What a team! Um, Clean Void Ibos, Juri Morahe, who went on to play for a pirate. What a team! Bekichima, very, very, um, talented team, full of pace, such memories, you know. So, this trophy really, really, really has history. It really, really has history. Until the modern day yeah, that we see e, MTN 8, that Moba is called Namsanji Wafa Wafa, winner takes all, 8 meter. And how they changed the game was that semi finals, quarter finals, um, you don't get anything. All you get is an appearance fee of 800,000. And then the winner takes 8 meter Yonke, Nasabati Wafa Wafa. Great finals as well that we've witnessed. Um, Mankulu Maganji, the one that comes at the top of my mind is the 6-0 Yagama Ngoba Baba Ngoba Mniti beating EIX Cape Town at Orlando Stadium. I think that was the first final that was played. Or was it the first game? No, it was not the first game because the first game at Orlando Stadium was E Pirates and um Konjo, what's this team? Yabo Bennett Parker. Royal Tanda Zulu Royal. That was the first game played. Yeah, it was not the first game. That was the first game. It's like Orlando Pirates won the game 3-1. Teko Mudise was on fire. Anyways, Angi Kolapu, Angi Kolapu. Just get carried away. I love the archives, as you know. So, anyway, sorry about that. Um, so, Nangabanga E MTN8, the first final, the final that just comes into my mind is the 6-0. Yeah, Lamonville Golden Arrows against a very talented IX Cape Town. Mar, they humiliated them 6-0 at the Orlando Stadium. What a game from E Golden Arrows. What a display. Player that pops up in my mind is O. May his soul rest in peace. O Richard Henyeka. In fact, both the Henyekanya brothers, they played in that game. They killed it. Um, I remember a final between E Orlando Pirates and Swallows. Nervy final, another one played at Durban. What a final, what a final. 
Pirates scored first. Solos went on to equalize. Gukora. Gonja, who's this guy? Is it James Chamanga? Yeah. It was James Chamanga who scored the equalizer. Late in the. It was not that late. Marke Mbese Hambile. Pirates fans thought all we need is a 1 0. Sesta Dile. Nope. But it went on to go go extra time, end to end stuff. A very organized Swallows team. Big coach Wawu. I just forget the coach's name, Mare, who was a German coach. I, I'm sure you'd know Nzan Kumbuza, Guma comments. It was a, but it was definitely a German coach. Very organized Swallows team. Yabolifa Tutulupa. We all remember that team, you know? Big night, big night, big night. Hence, we're playing the final. I remember Ama penalty shoots out a corner. Uslem Kat Monim Joseph was sharing the story because Unom Vete missed the penalty on that day. So Monim Joseph was sharing the story at he. They were actually in camp with Ibafana Bafana for like three months preparing for the World Cup. So the final I'm talking about was just after the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Abanyabati Philip. Yeah, we called it Philip then. After we felt it. So it was the first final. Izala Emma Pida. So Monim Joseph was saying that when it was. Is Kat Saga when it was Nomveta's turn to take the penalty. As he kept on saying, Bele, I know you. I know you're going. I'm not sure because you're going to your right or to your left. At the, but I know, for example, you are definitely going to my right. You are definitely going to my right. I was with you for three months in camp and you are practicing against me. Bele, I know you. Bele, I know you. You are going to my right. I'm just making an example. Because the Slim Card Village, he'll get the fans hyped up around the stadium. We know he does that very well. So he was sharing that story as he kept on saying that to Upele Nomvete. And then Upele Nomvete went up on that day. Penalty Ake went up the post. As long as shy where he normally strikes it. So Vele, he missed it because it did something and you could see Oslim Gat getting excited. So it's such stories that um, ring a bell. Most recently, man, to the last one we saw, Yaga last year, defending champions of the Sundowns. I think it's going to go down into the history books not just of South Africa, but of the world. A goalkeeper saving so many penalties in one game. I think for me, that game was won by Dennis Onyango. Cape Town City had them pound for pound. Very organized. They were attacking Katbanga Basabi. We know Tinkler's teams are very organized, well-drilled, but Ali Paola. It was just that team. Very nice game. But I say kudos to Dennis Onyango. Brilliant performance he pulled on that day. Really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, guys, as I always say, we can't remember everything. You know, if I've left out your favorite team or your favorite moment, please do us justice by Australia through the comments or just find a way of telling us. You know, we thrive off such facts and such information. We are the archives show after all. Now this weekend, it's Wafa Wafa. And when you look at the fixtures, Wafa Wafa Ngembele. Gea fewer, gea fewer, gea fewer. Because Guvula e Cape Town City, Namazulu. Um, I can just imagine what Tinkla is a wounded tiger. He'd want to come back strong. The whole IX team, they know good where they are sitting at the table. They don't deserve to be there. I know the old saying, Yoguti, the league table doesn't lie. But for me, the current league table is lying, you know. But anyway, it's still early days. It's still early days. What's a game I expect? Fireworks. Ukapa Kapalapa is probably going to want to prove a point to Mango. Um, it's fireworks all the way. Then versus Valenga Royal AM and Orlando Pirates at the Churchwood Stadium. I can just imagine a packed Churchwood Stadium. It's really twice like if you give it up, you look a bigger pansy. So with the parachute and the little bang and the nilo with the skillful players, they play a beautiful game. Gee, I'm just expecting fireworks to play your game. And then on Sunday, Stalang is like Steve Parker, is Stelis, and I think. Guys, I think if there's a team to beat, it still is this season. I think it's going to be very dangerous. They have um, built such a proper foundation. They've kept the same coach for, I think, five, six seasons now. And you can see each and every season, they improve, they improve, they improve. So now this season, I'm expecting fireworks to stay least. I don't think it's going to be an easy game for your Chiefs, especially for the fact that you're going to Badala at the Danny Craven Stadium. Expect fireworks. And at the same time, it Chiefs is also fired up. They would want to prove a point. We all know what happened the last time they played. Stelis and Kaiser Chiefs. Stelis won. So I don't think Chiefs would want to lose against Stelis twice in consecutive matches. They'd want to prove a point. So that to me is also a Wafa Wafa one. And then last but not least, 
si vale si yisa le gua chuane, si yisa toke pitori gua chuane, chuane derby, what's the game I'm expecting? I think e super sports confidence is slightly higher now. We all know the consistency from Melody Sundowns. They just know how to win, playing against our youngsters who are eager to prove a point. Which we can't. Let's just beat these guys to show good night we've arrived. So, I, like, I, I honestly cannot predict a winner who won't get Lama games. Maybe I can take a chance and say Sundowns will just win against Super Sports. But to be honest, the other games, I really think it's even Stevens. Um, obviously, if you support a specific team, Zobonangati, your team would be better. I think the only people who can safely say that for now is Imamilodi Sundowns because we all know what they do. Like, we all know what they do. Like, they're so predictable, man. It's not even funny. Like, Sundowns, for me, Sundowns is just too much. Sundowns is just too much. But I also think they'll struggle this season. Yes, I don't think it's going to be as easy as it was the previous seasons. I think teams have beefed up their squads. Teams have studied them. Um, I think if they were to win the league this season, I'm going to give them win the last year. Because for me, honestly speaking, I think it's Sundowns won the league last year, what December, when they beat the Pirates 4-0. Because Pirates was... People were saying if there's a team in a challenge the Sundowns, it has to be Pirates. But they never lived up to that. You know, I think after they lost that game, well, they won the following game. They responded well, but Immoral just dropped and, 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 and. So for me, Sundowns won the league in go December last year. But I don't think they're going to win it like that this year. If they win the league, they'll probably win it on the last day or on the second last day. Um, and that's about number one, number two, or three for that matter. But it's not going to be as easy. Um, we even saw a weekend. I wouldn't say they struggled against a Sikukuni. They were not struggling. But they just found a well-prepared Sikukune team who could see with Nade. Not that invisible after all. Um, so yeah, all in all, I'm just excited about the weekend that's ahead. Um, all I see is fireworks. As I said, I can't even pick Uguti, which is the game to watch. Like all games are interesting for me. I hope the fans are out there in their numbers. Good display for South African football. Nati, let's go out and support them and do the right things. Anyways... Till we meet again, so we are Sponane. But as I close, once again, I thank the guys who like, watch, and subscribe to our videos. We really appreciate you. It means a lot. Please continue doing the right things, especially if you feel that the content that we're giving you is proper, especially with the archives, you know? Continue doing the right things. We really appreciate your support. And yeah, we're out. <laughs>